I love her. She's like, you know, like family. People change and people grow apart. Demi Lovato has exposed Taylor Swift for blatantly ruining her relationship with Selena Gomez. For those unaware, the Look What You Made Me Do singer and the Wizards of Waverly Place actress have shared a very strong friendship in the past. In fact, they've both been openly vocal about how good of the friends they've been. Is Taylor Swift like your best friend? Yeah, she's my best friend. How long? I'd say Selena Gomez is definitely my best friend in the business. However, due to reasons shared by Lovato, Taylor Swift managed to destroy her relationship with Gomez. How did that even end up happening? And where do the stars stand at this point? Let's find out in this video. It's no secret that neither Taylor Swift nor Selena Gomez are unfamiliar to drama-making headlines. Whether it be due to a public feud or just a breakup, both stars have made near-controversial headlines in the past. However, throughout their careers, they've never really stopped publicly supporting each other. Well, at least until very recently, but that will be explained later. It just so happened that both Gomez and Swift were dating Jonas Brothers in 2008, and since then, they've danced together at award shows, performed on stage together, and most recently, have also hyped up each other's new music. In fact, Swift also made a surprise appearance on Selena Gomez's new HBO Max cooking show, Selena and Chef. Stop. This is Taylor. <laughs> the pandemic may have caused the duo to see much less of each other. However, their friendship never got compromised until they involved themselves in a drama revolving around Justin Bieber. Having a look at the Gomez-Swift relationship, it was a 2017 interview with KIIS FM UK when Gomez opened up about how she and Taylor Swift met for the first time. And it's rooted in the early days of both their careers. We actually dated the Jonas Brothers together. It was hysterical, Gomez told the hosts, referring to her relationship with Nick and Swift's with Joe. It was amazing because she was the girl with the big curly hair and all the bracelets and the cowboy boots. And I was definitely up and coming and we just clicked, she added. It was the best thing we got out of those relationships. That's me. We actually dated the Jonas Brothers. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was hysterical. Yeah. Yeah, that's funny. No, but it was amazing because she she was the girl with the big curly hair and all the yeah. bracelets and the cowboy boots yeah, yeah. and you know, I was definitely up and coming, and, and we just clicked. It was uh, it was the best thing we got out of those relationships. <laughs> In January of 2011, Swift and Gomez were also seen hanging out at the 2011 People's Choice Awards. It was during that night that Swift was voted the favorite country artist, while Gomez also took home the trophy for favorite breakout artist. Just the following month in February, Swift and Gomez also attended the Vanity Fair Oscars party side by side. It wasn't that Justin Bieber would never be seen with the duo together. Since Selena continued to date Bieber in their on-again, off-again relationship between 2010 and 2018, the two were often pictured with Justin Bieber as well. But what no one could have realized back then was that Bieber's involvement would also become the reason for a clash between the once strong friends. By August 2011, Selena, Bieber, and Swift appeared quite comfortable with each other. In fact, Swift and Gomez were also seen hanging out at the Teen Choice Awards, where Taylor also performed Love You Like a Love Song. It was during the same month that Swift also went ahead and invited Gomez's then-boyfriend Bieber to perform Baby on stage at the Speak Now tour. So where did things go wrong, and where do the stars stand at this point? Selena Gomez and Taylor Swift's friendship cannot exactly be summarized with a handful of posts. Having spent more than a decade together, the two have made countless posts on social media, indicating a very strong friendship. For instance, it was in honor of Swift's 21st birthday when Selena shared a collage of the pair on Instagram. Back then, collages were the most popular thing to wish someone a birthday. Selena had done just that and written, from the hotel room album listing parties, kitchen dance floor album listening parties, to driving on the PCH, windows down album listening parties. The best part is we were the only ones there, each time. So happy, honored, and proud to know you and your diaries. At Taylor Swift, hashtag 1989, buy it. Now I'll listen live from drowning in my bed sheets. 
However, there came a point when things began to fall apart. It was over the summer of 2019 that the music industry divided in half. This came after Justin Bieber's manager, Scooter Braun, purchased Taylor Swift's old label, Big Machine Records. With this, Bieber had supposedly also purchased the rights to all of her songs as well. Understandably, this was a make-or-break move for the we-are-ever-getting-back-together singer. Celebrities also went ahead and took sides, as everyone appeared to have an opinion on the drama. This is not to say that eventually things never calmed down. They did. However, Taylor also made a promise that she was going to re-record her old songs so that she could have ownership over it. And after that point, everyone moved on. However, it also did not take long for the drama to spring right back up. Taylor was also honored as the Artist of the Decade at the American Music Awards of 2019. And that was when she wrote on Twitter and Instagram that she wished to perform a medley of her songs for the show. Unfortunately, however, according to Taylor Swift, Scooter would not allow her to perform the songs that he now supposedly owns. So not only did Taylor plead for help, but she also had to plead for the rights to perform her very own songs at the awards, so that they could be used in an upcoming Netflix documentary. Once again, many in the industry began taking sides in this newly risen feud. It was no surprise then that Selena Gomez, who was seen as Taylor's BFF, took to her Instagram story to comment on the drama. It's greed, manipulation, and power, she wrote, referring to Scooter's actions. There is no heart or thought of anyone else, no respect for the words my friend has written since she was a 14-year-old in her bedroom. She continued her post by explaining her stance on the matter, saying, You've robbed and crushed one of our best songwriters of our time. An opportunity to celebrate all of her music with her fans and the world. Selena, however, wasn't Taylor's only friend to speak up amid the drama. Gigi Hadid, Halsey, and even Rebecca Black have voiced their desire for Scooter Braun to let Taylor perform her songs. Meanwhile, Big Machine released a statement this morning, claiming the narrative Taylor created does not exist. At no point did we say Taylor could not perform on the AMAs or block her Netflix special. In fact, we do not have the right to keep her from performing live anywhere. They explain that Taylor has admitted to contractually owing millions of dollars and multiple assets to our company, which is responsible for 120 hardworking employees who helped build her career. Right now, they are trying to work toward an agreement to solve these matters. But they claim that Taylor's decision to go public with her statement greatly affects the safety of our employees and their families. With all this he said, she said, it can become difficult to judge what is true and what isn't. But something does say that the drama is far from over. Another potential rift in Swift and Gomez's friendship came lately, when Gomez apparently plugged Kim Kardashian's Skims shapewear line on her Instagram story. Legit so freaking comfortable at Skims, she wrote over a photo of herself wearing a pair. It was only a few hours later that the photo posted by Gomez had been taken down by her. This came as a surprise, as Gomez had really hyped up the clothing line in her post from just a few hours ago. Interestingly enough, after the deletion of the Kardashian appreciation post, Selena went ahead and replaced it with a Swift appreciation post. My ride or die, I would die for this one. Gomez wrote over a selfie of the pair and one of Swift's cats. Thank you for being by my side. You have taught me so much. Walked through all this with me. Stayed. And you remind me to be a better human being. I'm on your side for life. This may have indicated that Taylor pressured Gomez to put her friendship in line with those of Taylor Swift. What do you think about the matter? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below.